What's coming up at GABFAC? Hello, and welcome to your weekly announcements. This is the month of June, and that means it is our church anniversary month. So this is the 43rd year. We are celebrating. We're so excited where God has brought us from and excited about where he is taking us to. This is GAB Fact moving forward. We are so excited to announce the return of the Beans and Cornbread Ministry. So please make sure you are here in place every first and third Monday of the month to serve our neighbors from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. We'll see you there. All women, on Sunday, June the 21st, we will be celebrating Father's Day and we always do our annual breakfast. But this year, we're gonna do something a little special just for our men. We had a great time on Mother's Day. So what we will be doing new is we are going to buy all of the food for them. So please see Sister Deborah Hicks, but we're going to allow them to cook their meal. Since they said in the announcement, they cook so much better than us. So please, ladies, get ready to taste that delicious grits from our very own pastor that he talked about. So Papa, I'ma buy them especially for you. We look forward to this. Ladies, please see Evangelist Deborah Hicks. Just for your information, uh, the brothers will not be, let me repeat, the brothers will not be cooking our own breakfast on Father's Day. We really need to be, we really need to just let you all off the hook because it just can't get any better than what happened back in May for Mother's Day. So, I mean, pretty much from here, it's just going to just be pretty much a train wreck. But at the same time, we're still not going to cook our own breakfast. So if anybody wants to join me, I'll be at McDonald's on Camp Jackson Road for Father's Day breakfast. Hey, family, as you know, Beans and Cornbread Ministry has returned. But from June 8th to July the 8th, Sister Iola Jenny McDougal will be down here, and she'll be going out into the streets, uh, going to witness to some youth in the streets. But she wants our youth to come and volunteer your time. Uh, she'll be here five days a week, Monday through Friday, and lunch will be served to you daily. So all you have to do is show up, go out, uh, talk to some of these other youth in the street, and that's about it. On Saturday, June the 20th at 2 p.m. in the afternoon, we will have our next singles meeting. Our guest speaker will be our very own Nakia King. We are excited about this, and please continue to encourage her. So singles, be in the building, Saturday, June the 20th. And that's what's coming up at GAB Tech. BFAC family, members, and friends, when filling out your tithe and offering envelopes, please put the date, your name, and address, and specify where you'd like your money to go, either tithe, offering, speaker, or other. When you get to other, there's a small space. You'll have to write small, but please let us know exactly where that money is to go. Thank you so much. It'll make our job a lot easier. Me Too Music presents Christina Bell. Christina Bell. Christina Bell. New project up. Project Half Life Half Studio from St. Louis's own. Available now on Google Play Store, iTunes, and Amazon, and all other digital media outlets. Also available at MeTooMusic.com forward slash Christina. MeTooMusic.com forward slash Christina. Christina Bell. Christina Bell. Up. Get it now. Get, get, get it now. I was born into the Gateway Area B Fact. It's been 40 years for me. One of my most memorable moments were when we did our plays at the church, the Hellbound Train. It was an amazing time. We had fun. We loved it. We worshiped together. 
and we clowned, and we didn't get in trouble for it. So that was one of my most memorable moments over the past 40 years that I've had at BFAC. How you doing, family? I've been here for 10 years, and with all the love and support, uh, the family kept me wanting to come over and over, and that's why I've been here ever since. I've been a member of Bible Fellowship ever since I was a little girl, about maybe 11 or 12. Pastor had a storefront church on Collinsville Avenue, and we used to put up, set up chairs to have service every every Sunday when we came. We had a good time, although we had to dress with clothes up to here and hats over our heads or scarves or whatever. That was one of my most memorable moments of being a member of Bible Fellowship. I have been at Bible Fellowship since 1978. I think the most memorable moment for me is the day I got saved. Pastor King was preaching and he stood on the bench and we were at Mount Pisgah, the old Mount Pisgah church. And he was walking the bench and he had one foot on the bench and one foot below. And he was preaching and saying, you can't straddle the line. And at that moment, I knew it was time for me to stop straddling the line and just give my life totally to God. And that's what I did. And that was in 1978 of January. And I thank Pastor King for teaching that, preaching that on that day, because this is 2015 and I am still in love with the Lord. Yeah!